for me to actually go with the VO2 master was that I also integrated the athletes into the process as well and where we were considering, let's say, the pros and cons of the different devices and nobody actually comes close to VO2 master when it comes to making the best compromise in terms of usability, being able to build big data, which again, the future is all about. We don't care about one single measurement in time and then maybe we do another measurement some other time because they are too invasive, impairs biomechanics, too much other things. We wanted a device that were accurate, reliable uh, and gave us robust enough data that we can rely on them. But on the other side, a device that at least actually wanted to use themselves and even to the extent where they actually don't, don't need me to be around. They could actually just grab it themselves, do the measurements and I could be wherever I want in the world and actually review the data afterwards. And on top of that, it integrates also with the different ecosystems from Garmin, from Garmin and others. So it, they actually, instead of they have to look at two different data sources, actually all the data now sits in the same file. So I can analyze it in whatever program I want, together with power, velocity, heart rate, SMO2, core temperature, and so on. One of the reasons why I would recommend using VO2 Master is that VO2 Master compared to other devices uh, is a fully portable or the only really portable device that is on the market. And what it allows us to do a little bit, little bit more invasively like other devices, but also far less invasively or non-invasively, is that we can start to do a lot of what we call reverse extrapolation measurements. So basically when an athlete is done with their swimming, we put on a mask immediately as they stop. The same in running, they come running on a track, we give them to them at the moment they go to the finish line. And the same even on biking for intervals, you can there during breaks, put it on and you can actually do measurements. What this allows us to do is that of course, when you do this, you introduce a little bit more noise in the measurement, but if you take precautions in how we do this, and we do this a lot, it gives us suddenly a cloud of data points that um, uh, gives us one much better robustness, but also a completely or completely and much deeper insight into human metabolism efficiency and uh, on a high performance level where one is trying to up the volume for how much um, an athlete can train, it also gives uh, maybe the best tool that we have uh, available to really keep track of calorie budget. So in terms of reliability and accuracy, a big metabolic cart comes close.